In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a simple birdie flyer right here in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get into it, right? So this is the work we are coming to replicate right here. So all that we need to do right now is to create a new file. So we go to file, tap on new, or you can simply use control plus N and you are going to get it. So this is the size that I'm going to use. The width is 1600 and the height is 1600. Then I'm so once everything is done like this, remember the measurement is in pixels and the resolution is 300, right? So after this, I'll just tap on create. Good. This is what we have right here. So from here, we start to work on the whole project, right? So the first thing that we're going to do is to start with the background. So for the background, let me pick the image from here, right? So I'll just drag and drop right here into Photoshop. And over here, I'm going to stretch everything to fit the entire screen. So to do this, I'll hold on to shift and alt. Then I drag like this to fit the entire screen for me. Once it is here like this, I'm okay with it. I'll go to filter. Right first off, I'll tap on a check mark right here. And after that, I'll go to the filter. Then I'll come down to blur. Then I'll go to Gaussian blur right here. Then I'll give it a nice look and I'll leave it afterwards. Right, I think the 11 is okay. Then I'll tap on OK right here. After that, I'll go ahead and bring in my next image or my next resource. So I'll go ahead and pick it from here, which is this one. And I'm going to leave the link to these resources in the video description. So I'm going to put it right here again. And then I'm going to make sure this one also fill the entire, you know, shift so i'm going to hold on to the alt and shift then i'll drag this to wherever i want to drag it to good i think i'm okay right here so the next thing i'm going to do for this is to change the blending mode so let me work on that quickly i'll come here and change the blending mode to whatever i want so the blending mode that i'll use for this one is difference all right, so I'll use this one over here and I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit. Let's say the opacity should be 5%. So let me just enter the value over there quickly. All right, so 5%. Yeah, that's fine. Once we have that over there, I'll come back to this particular layer, which is the first image we imported over here. What I'm going to do to this one is that I'm going to make it a black and white image. So once the layer is selected, I'll come to this, you know, layer, create a new fill or adjustment layer. I'll tap on it and I'll go to black and white. All right. So this is what we have here. And that is exactly what I want. So I'll just leave it over there and I'll tap on this and I'll probably push this one away. Once I have this over here, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my subjects right so i'll go and pick that from my folder right away all right so my subject is right here and i'm going to drag and drop into photoshop right here so this i think it's okay i will not need to do any adjustment to it okay so i'll just tap on okay and we are good to go right so I have my image over here, then the first thing that I'm going to do is to make sure this image is rasterized if it is not already rasterized. Okay, so I'm going to open a property panel right away and let's see. There's no property. Let's tap on this check mark to make sure we accept the file into the you know workspace. Then we see the properties right here. Good. So this is what we have right here. This image is currently currently not rasterized. So we have to right click and go to rasterize layer. All right. The reason why I'm doing a rasterization is that I want to remove the background quickly without having to go through any stress. If you've not watched my previous video on how to remove a background of images, then probably check it up. It's showing up right there. Good. So once it is there, I'll probably go back to the property panel right here. And in case you are not seeing a property panel on your screen, just go to Windows right here and come and toggle it on and you see it. Okay. All right. So let's do that quickly. 
on the property panel we have quick action survey we have remove background and select subject for this one i'm going to use remove background to just remove the background for it quickly so that we can head over straight and do whatever we want to do in this particular lesson right so i'm waiting for photoshop to do the magic by selecting a subject and removing the you know background of it quickly good this is the job that photoshop has done and i think i'm just going to use this image this way i'm going to increase the size of it and of course i'll use my alt and shift so that i get the dimensions right so let's see all right so i'm going to push this one to the down like this i think this is okay for me now i'm going to check it right there now let's quickly do a comparison and see what we've reached so far this is a design we are trying to achieve and for now this is where we are so let's check what we have to do currently we just have to work on the image by adding a gradient effect and a background you know blending as well then we go ahead and enter our test so quickly let's do that right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a gradient effect okay so to add a gradient effect i'll come to this create new layer column again then i'll go to gradient once i select the gradient you could see what just appeared over here this is the gradient that appeared but then this is not what we want so we have to tap here once we tap here we have these options over here you select the down one the down one over here gives you the color so let's tap on this come and tap on color and i want something dark not white so let me change that quickly okay i think this is okay for me and i'll come to the white part over here i'll just push it away right because i literally don't need it okay then i'll try pushing this one this way a little bit and yeah i think that is pretty much okay for me after this i'll just tap on okay and okay right here so what i'm going to do now is i'll select this mask over here once i select it i'll go to the brush pick up my brush then i have to make sure i select you know around soft, soft around brush and probably reduce the hardness to zero then i can work on a size later right you can increase the size or reduce the size depending on what you want so once i'm settled with that one i'll just come here and you know clean the areas that i don't want the shadow or the gradient to cover right so i'm going to increase the size of the brush a little bit okay all right i believe you can see the effects happening right here i'm clearing off you know the gradient the black gradient that covered these areas i'm clearing the gradient off because i want the subject face to be much clearer in the design right but you can see that down over here nothing has been done it has blended with the background right so that is what we want to do quickly now after that we then proceed with the remaining parts of the work right so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to import an image which i'm going to blend with a background right here so let me go ahead and do that right so we are going to use this instagram icon to do this effect right away so i'm going to drag and drop it into my photoshop right here once i have it right here i have to make sure it is below my image right here good so over here we have to blend it with the background so for this one we are going to use linear light right here and so once we have the linear light enabled like this the next thing that we are going to do is to give it a filter and for this filter we are going to blur it so we're going to use gaussian blur right so let's increase the strength a little bit and see what we are going to get so i think 31 is fine let's tap on ok and we are good to go now the next thing that we have to do is to start entering the test that we want to enter right so let's quickly just tap hit on t on your keyboard and you quickly select the test tool right here and for the test the color right here is white and the size is 8.7 points over there and we are using Montserrat we're going to change it later on but let's just enter the test right here so the first test that we are going to enter is happy all right 
once we have the test entered like that i just you know hold on to control t to transform the test now i'm going to push it to the down right here and make sure i increase the size the way i want it right let me quickly bring this one over here we are definitely going to change the size of it so let's do that quickly let's go to the properties panel and let's see what we can do let's change the font to a different one which is autograph personal use only right this particular you know font that's what you're going to use for the test happy once we have it over there, I'm going to press V on my keyboard, then I can transform this test, right? I'll push it up a little bit like this. And I'll leave it there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the test key again. Then I'll tap here. And I'll enter the test BEP. For this one, I'm going to use capital letter, right? BEP. Then I'll tap on a check mark. After this, I have to go and change the font so over here i'll select a different font probably akira expanded good i'll press ctrl t then i'll increase the size of this particular test right here okay let's say i'm okay with this i'm going to put it right here then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and tap on this check mark right here. After that, I'll use V. Alright, I'll make sure my move tool is selected. That is a V on my keyboard. Then I'll hold on to Alt. Once I hold on to Alt, I'll just left click and drag to make a duplicate of this bed test. After making a duplicate, I'll hold on to T again and make sure I select this whole bed test. And I'll write over there D good once that is done i'll hold ctrl t again and i'm going to increase you know the size of this particular d test over here to fit under this one i think this is okay all right so we are almost done the next thing that we have to do is to enter the best d test that we want to wish the person right something like this all right so quickly let's copy this we're just going to copy this and paste it somewhere here what are we going to do is create a test you know boss so let's do this quickly right here so ctrl v i just pasted it inside right there okay so for this test over here i'm using Montserrat right there and at the top over here we are going to enter the you know the date of birth or something like that the date that we are going to do this so let's say it is 20th may i'm going to just type 20th then i'll tap on this check mark and i'll go ahead and change the font to montserrat and i'll use montserrat bold so let's say right there okay i think that's okay for us now let's increase the size a little bit quickly using ctrl t and let's adjust this all right now there's something that we have to do quickly we want to make sure we are doing something which is well aligned so let's check our alignment right here and be sure our test is in line very well so let's push the 20th to the line the grid line right there once we are there good it's perfect right now let's quickly hold on to alt and make a duplicate of this test once you make a duplicate let's hold on to t and select the whole test over here and enter that the test may for the main we are going to change the size of the font and we are going to we are going to use the same Montserrat, but it will not be Montserrat bold. Probably you can use semi bold and see how best it will look over there. Right. It looks a little bit small, but I think let's just use 
the medium and be safe right i just want it to be small over there like that and yeah okay let's check the alignment of this test we have over here all right what i'm going to do right now is hold on to v and select the happy test once i've selected it i'm just going to work on it make sure it's as well aligned over here right so i think at this point i'm going to press ctrl h to hide my guide guidelines and at this point we are almost done what we need to do is probably add some effect if we want to do so right so i want to blend some parts or i want to make some parts of the work so dark so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to select this all right i'm going to select this particular gradient effect again and i'm going to hold on to my brush this time around i'll make the foreground white the reason is simple i've brushed off some parts that i want to bring back to the work so i'm making a foreground white so that i can just paste those parts back right like this parts i'm painting right now i'm making them dark again right i hope you can see this right this is the essence of using you know layer mask in your you know your works when you're using photoshop you can quickly bring things back without having to struggle right so basically that is it and what we are going to do right now is we are going to merge the layers and add some features or some touches to it in camera raw so what i what i what we are going to do is to hold on to alt Control, shift and e together to merge our work you can see our work has been merged at the top right here okay now what we're going to do with with the layer selected at the top we are going to go to filter again then we go to camera raw filter so another page will open up where we can add some things to the work quickly so we have the work over here what we are going to do is let's go to the basics right when we come to the basics we are going to increase the texture of the work a little bit not too much right just a little bit if you increase it too much this is how your work is going to look like and you don't want something like this so you just increase it a little bit and if you reduce it to this is how your work is going to look like you don't want something like this so you want to increase it just a little bit let's say seven is okay then for the clarity we also increase it a little bit okay we just add small small touches to it if you increase the clarity to 100 percent this is how your work is going to look like and i'm sure you definitely don't want something like this so you put it something moderate let's say something like this and if you're okay with this you just hit okay and you are good to go if you want to add some other things so you can do that if you want to add contrast and stuff like that you can go ahead and do that right you can go ahead and work on that if you want to add exposure you can go ahead and work on it right but i think we are okay with whatever we have over here right now so we're going to tap on okay and this is our final work you just go ahead and save it to your you know whatever you want to save it just go ahead and save it or export it whatever you want to do with it go ahead and export it and guys that is how to design a simple birdie flyer right here in photoshop and if you like a tutorial like this go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more videos I'm definitely going to see you in the next video. Bless up.